When you leave your house, what do you see? Hardworking people? Friendly faces? Children playing? A good life? What's happening behind the scenes? Even here, in one of the most livable areas of the United States, there are so many who need help. We're lucky to live here, where we live united. The backpack program allows kids to focus on learning. It allows them the opportunity to reach their full potential. Kids weren't eating on the weekends, so their last meal was probably Friday around 11.30, maybe noon, and then they'd come, be back, coming back on Monday morning to have their first meal. Pretty darn tough for a kid to focus on learning or education when uh, their stomach's growling and they haven't had anything for two to two and a half days. We had to do something about that and try to give kids that opportunity to focus on learning instead of some of their basic needs that weren't being met. Uh, instead of worrying about, am I gonna get to eat tonight? Am I gonna have a meal this weekend? How am I gonna find something? Uh, my younger brothers and sisters gonna be able to eat? They can come in and say, you know what? I can focus on learning. I can focus on bettering myself as an individual. I see a quiet confidence that's built in them. Uh, they come in uh, very timid, very unsure of what it's gonna be like. And by the end, I see them coming in to take that because they know it's nothing that they've done wrong. No parents ever say, geez, I hope I can't feed my kids on the weekend. It's just a circumstance that comes up in people's lives. Those kids come in, they grow confidence, they're focusing on learning. I've seen improved grades, I've seen improved attendance uh, across the board with our kids in the program. The United Way has increased their contributions greatly to the backpack program uh, and increased their involvement to it to take an active leadership role. And, and it seems our community goes where the United Way will go. Uh, this, this will impact kids throughout the metro area. It's going to impact schools throughout the metro area. The community as a whole will, will be impacted in a very positive manner. When I, when I think of individual kids, I see kids that now come to school wanting to be there because they have the first chance in their life to be able to learn. And they see doors and avenues open that were never there before. You can't always see the need. You don't always see the good that your donation can do. But it's there. It's real. And if you take time to notice, the impact is clear. In 2003, we lived in Arkansas. It was my oldest son, Jabaz, and my youngest son, Chaz. Damara needed a home. She was six years old, Down syndrome, and extremely ill. We looked for the Downs clinics. Fargo, North Dakota had one of the best in the United States. Packed up my kids from Arkansas, and we moved up here to North Dakota. Um, she needed a home, and she needed a permanent home. So in 2005, we started the process of adopting Damara. Later on in that year is when tragedy, I guess is what you call it, happened. Some rare condition uh, called nervous system sarcoidosis and pseudotumor cerebri attacked my optic nerves. During the adoption process, I was going through surgeries and all sorts of things to try to save my eyesight from 20-20 vision to totally blind. Within three months, lost it all. The happiest moment of that time, though, was on May 5th, Damara's adoption was final. I still had my eyesight, and I got to see her say, I get a mommy forever. And it was the best day, because that's the last thing I remember seeing. And so we became a family. Us being in an apartment, it's been really hard to get them all out to play safely. That was my first thing. So I wanted a home for my kids so I could fence a yard and just let them run wild and be kids. Somebody told me about Habitat, that they could help in my situation. And I thought, what? why not? What could I lose? Everybody else has said, no, I can handle one more. No, no big deal. Um, 
but they didn't say no. And they said yes. Um, there's three main criteria that they <clears throat> want you to meet, and that's first of all, need. Does your family have a need? Your housing area, your living space, is it big enough, too small? What's your need? You're willing to partner. That means you're willing to do your sweat equity hours, which is volunteer basic work. And the other one is the ability to pay a mortgage back. These homes are not free. All these families who get these homes have to pay a mortgage payment. Your sweat equity is like your down payment. You go in debt, you have a loan. Habitat is not a handout, it is a hand up. It helps people who, like myself, who hit bumps in the road, get over that bump into a home and help them get back on track. Each year, the community comes through for United Way of Cass Clay. So we can come through for people in need, supporting programs that impact our quality of life. Whether it's a program that makes life better, or simply makes it bearable when things are at their worst, the United Way is here for all of us, year after year. One unexpected turn after another. I never gave a thought to my age when I took the kids. Or even when I applied for custody, I never thought, I never gave a thought to how old I was or how old would I be by the time these kids finished school. There were more than, well over two years that he had no contact whatsoever with the kids. He wanted to adopt them out. And, uh, and then it, he decided that he wanted me to adopt him. Well, I was 76 years old. And I said, well, I'll have to think about it. And then came some episodes with uh, drinking parents and stuff. And so I uh, contacted an attorney to see about getting custody of the kids. And well, when the kids first came, you know, they came with nothing. So I took him to, the, to reach to the thrift store to get them enough clothes so that Ryan could go to school. So I was always aware of the thrift store from the, almost from the time it opened, but uh, totally ignorant, I guess, about counseling. You know, I had no idea what it is. Uh, I always had the idea that it was somebody sitting there with big words, you know, that you can't understand or whatever and uh, uh, you know it's it's totally different than than my earlier conception of the whole uh, counseling thing but uh, it's just the idea that I can come in here and and uh, and talk to somebody about my problems I mean I have nobody else I know for me it's been a success If you could buy a better life for someone, for practically nothing, would you do it? If your direct deposit shrunk by a few dollars each paycheck, would it matter? We're lucky to live here. Not because of things we do, the things we have, or the places we can see. Cass and Clay Counties are a great place to live because of the quality and the character of its people. Live United.